On today's Become a Pony Expert, we're going to look at the story of Shetland ponies. Where did they come from? How did they get there? And why are they so small, cute and fluffy? Now Shetland ponies are a native breed. This means they come from a place where they've been for thousands of years. Now in the United Kingdom, we have six main breeds of native ponies, but the most famous and recognisable of them all is of course the Shetland Pony. The Shetland Isles are north of Scotland, 120 miles from the north of the Scottish coast, in the middle of the cold North Sea. these cold, remote, but beautiful islands that Shetland ponies call their home. Now we know from fossils that there have been Shetland ponies on these islands for 8,000 years. But where did they come from? And how did they get here? Well, one way to get to an island is to swim. So, did they swim to the Shetlands? Well, we do know that Shetland ponies are quite good swimmers. Here's some lovely pictures of our ponies swimming in the river. So they can swim naturally very well. However, it's a very long way to swim across the ocean to the Shetland Isles, so scientists think they probably didn't swim. But, did they walk? Although the Shetland Isles are islands today, during the Ice Age, the sea level was much lower and there was a land bridge from the north of Scotland and Scandinavia to the Shetland Isles. So the ponies may well have walked to the islands. And when the ice age ended and the ice melted, the sea level rose and the ponies were trapped on the islands. been another discovery and it may be that they came by boat. <music> Historians know that Vikings were sailing in these seas for thousands of years and on the Shetland Isles a very special monument was found with a carving on it of somebody riding very small pony. Can you see? That's a little Shetland pony with somebody in riding. Now this very important carving is called the Bresse Stone after the place where it was found and it's taken as evidence that the Vikings did indeed bring some ponies with them Viking ponies mixed with the ponies that walked to the island to produce the Shetland pony we know and love today. So why are Shetland ponies so small? Well, on the Shetland Islands, there's really not very much to eat. Not much grass at all. Winters are harsh and snowy, it's very windy, 
and it rains a lot. And in the short summer, there's just little grass and heather that grows and the ponies have to search for food to get fat for winter. So because of the lack of food, the ponies that were smaller, with nice short legs and little ears, managed to survive. Bigger ponies died out, leaving only the stocky little ones, like Elgin Sunset here, who could manage to survive. That's why the Shetland Pony is so small and he is what is called hardy. That means he can survive in the worst of weather. So why are Shetland Ponies so fluffy? Hello Wills, you can see here he's got a very fluffy face and a very fluffy coat. And in the wind you can see that it protects him from the cold weather. Now because the Shetlands can grow this amazingly fluffy coat and mane and tail in the winter which keeps them cosy, it means they could survive because there is no shelter or trees on the Shetland Isles. The grease in the pony's fluffy coat means that the water runs off them and keeps them nice and dry so they can survive in the very worst winter. So in the past, the Shetlands lived peacefully on the Shetland Isles for thousands of years. The islanders used to use the Shetlands for moving peat and children used to ride them. But all this changed in 1842. Now from this date, women and children were no longer allowed to work in coal mines. Yes, children used to work in coal mines. So Shetland ponies were needed to help pull the carts. So the Shetland ponies were put on boats and they left the island and travelled all over the world to wherever there were coal mines. Now the miners loved having ponies to work with, but it was a dangerous and dirty job. In 1913, there were 70,000, yes, 70,000 Shetland ponies working at mines in the United Kingdom. Now, happily today, there are no Shetland ponies working in coal mines. The last one stopped in about 1974. Now, our pony Muffin is very special because Muffin's grandfather was a pit pony. We know that because he came from a valley in Wales and we know that Muffin's grandfather was actually in a coal mine. So that's the story of the Shetland Pony and it has a happy ending because today there's no more coal mines for Shetland ponies, just children to care for them and love them and ride them. Thank you so much for watching the story of the Shetland ponies. Now, to find out if you're a pony expert, have a go at the fun quiz below this video.